we have something fun to go through today. We sure do. Uh, we have some things. A whole bunch of stuff. This is all from Nextbase. Yep. This is a company who specializes in dash cams. Yes. They're actually one of the biggest names. If you kind of do a little searching, mm -hmm. you're going to see them pop up quite a bit. Yes. So we were sent a whole bunch of... Yeah, kind of a, a product. Almost a portfolio. Yeah. It's like not all of their products, mm -hmm. but it is a good sense of what they offer. Yep. And here we have four dash cams. Yep. We also have some accessories yep. or modules, mm -hmm. and then some flashcards yeah. for uh, storage yep. that some go storage with these. Stuff. So uh, this is not a full review, this video. No. This is more of an unboxing, uh, general overview, kind of let you know what exists here, and kind of walk you from one model to the next, just so you have an idea as to what these offer on paper. Right. So we could start with... Uh, you know the entry level well sure. it's not even entry level because no they, they there's one have, yeah there was one lower lower not lower quality i guess just lower uh, tier lower tier than mm -hmm. that one yeah this so this is the uh 222 mm -hmm. uh dash cam this one will do a full 1080 video mm -hmm. uh full 1080 resolution and it works with their so they have this click and go mount which is a cool uh kind of mount system it's a, uh, it's got a adhesive that you put on your window, and then all of these cameras that are compatible with their system have uh, this little thing in the front that you take off, and it just snaps right into that holder. Okay. Um, it's a really cool system for ease of use to mm -hmm. take in and out. Um, if you need to, you put your memory card in the side here, and then the only other thing on here is a uh, USB port. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, USB, uh, mini USB, so not micro. Um, that's at least from the 222. We'll see if maybe the, the as you go up higher in price, maybe the ports change, but mm -hmm. I doubt it. So um, for the 222, we're talking about a price point of about $130. Okay, that's not bad. So some of the features, you've got, like you said, 1080p HD video. That's at 30 frames per second. Yep. So that's going to look pretty good. Uh, it's a good starting point for recording any type of uh, driving. You know, if it's pointing out the front, it's an HD video. And 30 frames per second is pretty good. You're not doing... Uh, gaming or anything, you're not you know right. worried about that. So it's going to be more than adequate to kind of give you a sense as to who maybe is at fault yep. if you're doing something. Uh, this has a 2.5 inch display on here. Mm -hmm. A couple buttons, kind of see that. Now this is not a touch display. This is a 2.5 inch HD. It's an IPS screen. This does not have image stabilization, so right. will, that is a feature that I bring up now because I will get into that on other models. Right. And then uh, this has the uh, does not have Wi-Fi capability, mm -hmm. and that is also something that mm -hmm. we will touch on as to why that might be something you want to consider sure. in some of the other models. Uh, this does not have any GPS or Bluetooth capabilities. It does offer a night vision. Yep. And it does have. Uh, a polarizing filter it's compatible that you can get from next base to put on here so that's going to give you a little bit uh, less glare mm -hmm. it's going to give you a little bit better picture mm -hmm. uh, as an accessory it is compatible with that it has a 140 degree angle viewing so it's going to see mm -hmm. most of what is in front of you it's mm -hmm. not going to go full 180 but mm -hmm. it's going to still give you quite a bit of uh, range to kind of see if somebody comes in from out you know out of nowhere to hit you or cut you off right you'll see that now uh, just a little bit of the accessories that come with it and these accessories are similar throughout mm -hmm. all of this range um, you have that mount system like I talked about it's got the adhesive strip uh, where this uh, plugs into just like that so it'll mount on your window and it's just a real easy uh, snap out here don't hit me. <laughs> no, it's, it's a strong magnet. Yeah. Um, I just didn't want to pull too hard. But yeah, that system there, it's got your uh, cigarette adapter cable. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't want to go to the adhesive strip, there is a uh, kind of suction mount. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why you would use this. 
uh, instead of plugging it into that quick release. Uh, and then you have a USB cable, which is the mini USB uh, to a USB A. And uh, it looks like a scraper. If you want to scrape off, and they give you a second adhesive pad in case you change vehicles or you mm -hmm. want to reposition it in the window, something like that. And they sell replacement ones of these on their website, or you can get them through uh, Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, that's the 222, and that's uh, these accessories are similar throughout all of them. Yes. So we'll move up to the next model. This is the 3. 22 is it w or just 322 uh gw, GW. yep so this one as you get into it you're looking at a difference of about 40 dollars. okay so at 170 these are some of the differences this one will do 1080p video at 60 frames per second okay as opposed to the 30. Mm -hmm. this has a two and a half inch display but it is also touch display this one also has uh, the enhanced, this has enhanced night vision as compared to just standard night vision. Nice. This also comes with quick link Wi-Fi, where this one does not. So what this will allow you to do is connect it to your phone mm -hmm. and you can send video from the device itself to your phone. So then you can share that with somebody, yep. maybe an insurance agent or somebody in the family. If you have a question, you know, hey, uh, you know, I got into an accident or whatever data and you you know what do i do turn that over mm -hmm. and uh you know you have a record of that so you also have bluetooth connectivity uh so that's going to be uh if you wanted to connect that to your phone mm -hmm. this has 10 hertz gps and we looked that up to find yeah. out 10 hertz gps is a faster um relay speed mm -hmm. to a gps signal so that it is a more accurate uh, to the moment picture of where you at, mm -hmm. uh, where you're at, um, in the world. This also has, let me see here, emergency SOS. Yeah. And that is something that the 222 did not have. Mm -hmm. So what that does is you can set it up so that if you are in an accident, it will alert other people as to where you are, uh, the location, and it'll also send information such as, I believe you're Health records, yep, any type and insurance of... records. Mm -hmm. um, that's all stuff that you input in the NextBase app when you connect your um, camera. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can put that info in, and um, it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. Just the ease of mind. Uh, in general, dash cams are a good thing to have because you never know what might happen. Right, and if there's nobody around to corroborate uh, your story mm -hmm. or, or what you think happened. Um, and they're really uh, fairly inexpensive for the peace of mind. Sure. Uh, but the... I, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think some insurance companies may give you a break if you have something like this too. So in the NextBase app, uh, if you sign up for their Drivers Club, mm -hmm. um, it's uh, you get promotional material from partners, uh, but you also can get insurance um, deals. Okay. So I imagine, yeah, like you said, uh, if you have a dash cam that is available always on, and mm -hmm. you have access to your insurance insurance company, you might be able to get a break on that, depending yeah. on the insurance company, obviously. One last thing on this model that the other one does not have is this is compatible with some modules. Yes. And we'll talk about the modules here yep. in a moment. There are uh, three of them mm -hmm. that you can connect to these so that you can use, get a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more life. Yeah. And uh, better overall experience mm -hmm. with that. So this is the 322, and that one runs about 170. Okay. So then we move up into the 522 GW, and this one runs about 233. So now we're talking about $100 difference from the first model mm -hmm. up to this one. This one has 1440 HD video. Okay. So it's not just 1080, but it's 1440. And it also will give you uh, 1080p at six or 60 frames per second. Yes. This has a three inch display, so it's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. It's also touch. This has the enhanced night vision. Also has the quick link, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, same GPS. And this also has uh, 
the emergency SOS and the same compatibility with the modules. So you, you're really kind of looking into how big of a display you have yes and how high resolution you want your video to be yep so if you're a first time driver or you're looking to outfit your family you mm -hmm. may not want to go high end across the board right but this is up towards the upper end of that and you can see it is a bigger device compared to the other ones and again it is a touch display is the 322 and the 522 mm -hmm. and just to double check i think you're right about the cable also mini usb mini usb yeah. so this is the 522 and it runs about 233 234 on their website okay at the top of the line right now we have the 622 gw mm -hmm. this one is going to give you 4k video big step up big step up so that is, you know, 4K at 30 frames per second, uh, 1440 at 60 frames per second, and then it'll do 1080 at 120 frames per second. Okay. So, all HD, all high uh, resolution, just depends on um, how many frames per second, because then you're talking about like slow-mo. Right. And the ability to kind of really break down, you know, that person left before the light changed. You can really start to see those things yeah. uh, happen. This one also has image stabilization. It's huge. And it also has uh, Bluetooth 5. The others were Bluetooth 4. Mm -hmm. So that may not make a big difference in the big scheme of things, but it is a difference between the models. Yep. Also has the 10 hertz GPS. Now this one also has compatibility or works with what three words? Yeah. What three words is a really cool technology. It is very uh, cool. Basically, for every three meter uh, square on in the world, you can, there's a three word combination to find that. In the world. <laughs> yeah. So if you are in an accident or your location, it can be as precise as that three meter. So it's it's like having an exact GPS coordinate, mm -hmm. but it's the three words, and you can plug that into... And that's technology that is is known throughout the world mm -hmm. in all kinds of uh, emergency and rescue situations. Yeah. So it's not like you have to worry, like, oh, yeah, this three word sounds cool, but... It's proprietary. Does, I, does anybody use that? Yeah, it's not a next-based technology. Used. It's this... used all over the world. Yep. This also has, and I forgot to mention it in the 522, mm -hmm. these both have Alexa capability. They do. So uh, that is something that, you know, it's not just this, the screen for the 5, but mm -hmm. the Alexa, I, I did overlook that. Gives you the ability to kind of use your voice to start recording, yep. stop recording. Um, you can use it to play music. Mm -hmm. You can, there's a, actually, if you look on their website, you can see a list of commands that you can use by voice mm -hmm. while you're driving. 622, back to this one, uh, actually, <laughs> I, I feel terrible now because this one also has. I was too quick to get away from this one. Okay. Both the 522 and the 622 have the polarizing uh, right. filter built into them. Yep. Whereas the first two that we looked at, it's, it's an it. optional accessory you can yes. buy for it. Yeah. So 522 it definitely starts to have a little bit more. And that's something to think about if you, let's say, are using it. So we're in Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time it's gray. Sure. So not that big of a deal. But if you are using this somewhere sunny all the mm -hmm. time, you might want to maybe spend the extra money and get the one that has the filter built in so you don't have to purchase that separately. And yeah, and it's not a piece that you're putting on. Right. Uh, just to have it so you might as well just spend that delta mm -hmm. and, and get that with it right uh, all of these are the 140 degree angle yes viewing they all all three after the basic one have the ability to work with the modules right so the modules that they gave us and uh, that that they have right now are a uh, this is the rear view camera module. And so how this works, uh, you have your dash cam plugged in, uh, sitting in the front, and then this goes into the side here. And you can tell it's got a, a little bit of a magnet 
pull to it, mm -hmm. which is nice. Um, but it plugs in right to the side, so you got your camera facing out to the front, and then this one, it is this is the rear view camera. So what it's like a, a telescoping lens that will shoot through the the car. Uh, mm -hmm. through your vehicle and give you a picture out the back window. So it's almost capturing what your rear view mirror yes. sees. Yep. So it'll see kind of like a little bit of the, the headrest and the shoulders of people that might be in there, but it'll see through the back window mm -hmm. and you can see if somebody came up right. too quickly. But it is zoom, so it's mm -hmm. not like you're going to get the full view of what's inside the car. If you want something inside the car, let's say you're uh, a Uber or Lyft driver mm -hmm. or you... Um, are doing uh or if you're just a parent car wanna... karaoke <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a parent yes and you want to make sure that your kid is not being crazy in the back yeah or... their new driver and you want to keep an eye on them or if they're staying off their phone uh but the other one is the cabin view camera so very similar in far as the style of them it's the same idea this just has a wider angle mm -hmm. so you can get actually what's in the car itself. Mm -hmm. um, the other uh, accessory they have is a rear window camera. I'm not going to take this out of the packaging, but it's a little ball that sticks onto the window in the back window. And it has a cape. You run a cable from that to your camera, to your dash cam, and that will give you a rear window camera. Mm -hmm. And the six and a half meters, yeah. so that's plenty long to kind of fish along the edge, mm -hmm. under the the seat, and yep. back up through, so you're not, you yep. know, loose dangly cable. But it's plenty that you can kind of tuck away. Right. That is the rear view, so that would be something that if I have a truck, maybe mm -hmm. an extended cab or something, mm -hmm. I can mount that and see what's going on back there. Right. Or potentially even like a van. Yes. You know, something I can run it to the back of that. At six, six meters, you're, you know, you have about 20 feet, yeah, six got, and a half meters. You got plenty of cable to get, to get through wherever and be, be tucked away to not be seen. Mm -hmm. um, the other accessory that they have is a dash cam hardwire kit. So like we've said, all of these come with a cigarette adapter, mm -hmm. um, but they actually have a hardwire kit if you want to wire into your fuse box of your car. Uh, so you always have a an always on connection when okay. your car's on. Um, it's a ve I've watched a video on it. it. Seems very easy. You just uh, find the fuse box, run the cable down, you know, along your uh, liner, and then down mm -hmm. in the weather strip, uh, and then you just plug in a fuse that's open, and you are connected, and don't have to worry about taking up the real estate in case you need a car charger or something like that. Sure. And now, is that compatible with all of the models? It is compatible with all the models, yep. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, the other thing they sell is the USB cards to store that data um, if you need to take it and store it anywhere else. Uh, some of these models, though, like we said, will sync with an app and mm -hmm. store it in the cloud. Yep. So. So these are the, 320, the 222, 322 GW. GW. 522 GW and 622 GW. Yes. And price point again, and I don't even think I mentioned the six, but they start at about 130, mm -hmm. and then they go up to the next one is 170, 234, and then at the up upper end, the 622 is about 320. Yes. So the accessories or the modules, they run about 99 a piece right now. Yep. And you can find all of these, and we'll put links to each particular one. So if you want to look at and compare them, you can click on and kind of put two side by side mm -hmm. to see whether or not it's worth the money for you. Yeah. Uh, and then you and I are going to kind of yeah, test gonna, a couple of these out. We're going to put a couple of these in our vehicles and spend some time with them, and then we'll let you know what we think. Yep. Uh, but as of right now, all of their base are belong to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Thanks for watching, Thank guys. Thank you. I had to throw that in there. I know you did. Of course you have to. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster. 
and Twitter as swebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.